Hey everybody, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Okay, so we got our simple simulate model here. And what we're going to do, I've shown this before, but not in the updated version 2015A uh, of MATLAB. And what we can do is we can co-generate this little model with a state flow chart as well. Very simple stuff. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to co-generate this into uh, C++. So come under the options. Now, there's a couple of tricks here you should be aware of. Um, for Windows and Visual C++ specifically, you want to create a Visual C++ solution file. Um, and that is determined by our target. So we have here GRT TLC create Visual C++ solution file. Okay, that's obviously for Windows. For uh, Linux, mm, I believe it's this one. Okay, um, but we're still determining that. Okay, but let's show you the Visual C++ one. So we have here the GRT underscore TLC target. All right, so uh, what we have here is we have our diagnostic viewer, which will show you the build process. Um, but there's a trick to it. If you're using Visual, St uh, Visual Studio 2013, which I am, this particular version will build out a uh, uh, project for 2010 of uh, Visual Studio. So it's incompatible with the 2013 version of Visual Studio, and it will bitch about it. So I'm going to show you uh, some tricks to it. So here's the uh, generated, uh, co-generated and built project within my uh, Visual Studio. And again, this is uh, version 2013 Ultimate. So let me close out this project, or this solution, sorry. Um, and let's uh, co-generate. All right. So you want to see this uh, report. It's part of the build process. Uh, okay, here's our options. Just, again, I keep saying, just keep under, come under code. C, C++ code, and just go under uh, options right here. So that's what we're looking at right here. Make sure you got that uh, target, the GRT target set. And you build. Now, there's a little trick to all this funky stuff I just learned. There's a package where you, code, you package all the code in artifacts and put it into a zip file called test model. So uh, that's for a Linux builds when you want to build a um, particular uh, for for uh, Eclipse on 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 uh, Linux. So here we are. It's uh, building the uh, fun stuff. Here we go. So it's built out. Uh, we've now got our uh, process being built, all the files, the solution file Visual Studio being built or generated. And here's the thing it's going to generate an error in a minute. You just did, it failed. And here's the error as I explained before. It's using the Visual Studio 2010. Uh, Platform. So what you need to do is come under here, right click, and you just upgrade to Visual C++ compiler libraries, convert, and rebuild. That's it. So there you go. You've got yourself a co-generated um, um, from Simulink here to actual C++. Not just that, but you also have it now at your disposal in Visual C++. And you can build it, as you can see here, with some bit more successful. And you can actually start building out your other components and building your, your hooks into other software. Um, I don't know, like your order management, or whatever. But the gener generic code is there. No different than what I showed before. The key is, is to be able to now move that over to Linux, which I thought would be not so hard. But the key to it all is... is package file, the zip file. So um, what we're referring to here is um, uh, Eclipse. Uh, and I'm just going to show this for new people. 
if you come under eclipse.org, which is the um, IDE integrated development environment for Linux, which there's a specific one for C++ and C developers, and that is also known as Eclipse CDT, which is uh, uh, C development tools for Eclipse. So we got to figure out how to get that working uh, and have the same process where it will build um, the same set of code that's generated, but not just for um, for Windows and Visual Studio, but to be able to do it for uh, Eclipse on a Linux environment. Hopefully, I'll help you out. Talk to you.